Ah d'accord, c'est des fans de Mary Incredible. I mean, I, I looked her up when I heard the film was being made. What did you know about Florence at all, or did you have to do a lot of revision and check out what she was? No, I, I was vaguely aware of her. Someone had sent me a tape yeah, I'll be 30 years ago, and I remember thinking it was very funny. But no, when this came up, um, yeah, I did a lot of research. Apart from anything else, I was terrified of the film and of uh, you know, having to act with Meryl Streep. So I did more prep preparation for this film than any other I've ever done. I mean, obviously everyone is asking that question. It has to be answered. She's a, a top she is. Well, she's just like Meryl, the world. Um, <laughs> no, Meryl Hugh Simon, the world. Um, it, I, I didn't have many scenes with her, but I think I stayed after I wrapped the day and I just watched her. Sorry. I just watched her work and sing, even though I wasn't actually meant to work that day. It's like acting school. Yeah for us who hasn't been to acting school. Did you say you had a girl crush on her? Did you let her know? Oh God, I rubbed myself against her all the time. She Love went, stop it, it stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Like most people, I, I am not unaware of Meryl's talent or Hugh's talent or Stephen Freer's talent. So I, I, I had to brace myself. And and but you know what? It was it was perfect for the for the film because it's a bunch of people who are somewhat out of their element and and who dream big. And we all know those people in life who have you know total passion, uh, but you know are completely unburdened by talent. Um, and it doesn't stop them. And there's a lot of reality shows that, you know, exploit that. So this is a movie for, for, for those people, for people who, who dream bigger than their talents might allow. Oh.